But fellas, it's Ken Senior here Saturday afternoon, and this is the brand new 2024 F450 450 King Ranch with the high output 500 horse 6.7 liter power stroke diesel 10 speed transmission, 19 and a half inch rims, wide axle front front wide axle front end. We'll get into the details in a second, but uh, you know if you follow the channel, we haul big trailers, 36 foot triaxles in fifth wheels it, with up to 25 motorcycles in them at a time. We own two tractor trailers. We own a fleet of trucks and trailers. And this was the, the, the main new truck that we had. This is a 2020. I bought this here at Columbia Ford. Um, I'll get into the reason why I bought the truck here and why I have friends all up and down the East Coast that come here. Uh, there's lots of good reasons, but I, I wanna go over the differences between the two trucks, why we're trading in the 2020, which has been a great truck, 21,000 miles. I haven't paid one penny not one penny for maintenance and service costs because when you buy a new Ford, the first four oil changes are covered. Everything's under warranty and there's no issues whatsoever. We did have one issue on the road and that's another reason why I wanted a truck under warranty because we're going to a national show like the Americade show. It's gonna cost us the $23,000 for just to, just for the expenses of doing the show, renting the booth and everything else. So if we, if we don't show up, there's no refund. So for Daytona, we had a, a hydraulic hose go on the way down and because this truck was under warranty, Ford makes it a priority. They pulled the part off another brand new truck and it was a big job. They had to pull the fender off to get to the hose and they did it immediately. Overnight, I was back on the road less than 24 hours later. So having a warranty is key. You get three year, 36,000 miles, bumper to bumper, that's expired on this. You get five years and 60,000 miles on the powertrain. Tires on these trucks are expensive. These are Continental. 225 70 R19.5. They retail for about 650. So you're looking at about four grand for a set. These are the original tires at 21,000 miles on them. Um, they're four years old. Once a truck gets seven years old, even if they're not worn, we always put new tires on it. So you got about four grand worth of tires. The other thing is our, our race team, our traveling, the semi, the, the hauler, the mini truck, everything's black and red this year. We're the number one gas gas dealer in the United States of America, we're gonna be the number one Stark dealer. We have to sell four more models to get in first place. And we're gonna be the, the number one Buell dealer in the whole fleet of trucks. is gonna be black and red. It'll be very easy to spot us at the events because it'll have the logos on it. So to wrap this truck black, as we consider doing it, I got a quote of 10,000 and you actually have to pull the bed off to get in between here. And then of course the door jams would still be white. So it would look kind of funny. So painting this one black wasn't, wasn't an option either. You're looking at like 15 grand and it wouldn't raise, it would actually hurt the value of the truck because this is the original paint job so the other thing is the residual value on this truck being a 2020 with 21,000 miles when i went to trade it in they went online eric in the dealership went online and there was only 12 of those available in the whole united states of america there's not a lot of f-450s on on the lot and i was able to get seventy four thousand dollars on the trade-in on this truck and i paid eighty four thousand for it eric gave me a really good deal on the truck that's why a lot of my friends come here from all over the country to buy their trucks Here's my original window sticker on this truck, and the, the price was $87,175 plus delivery $88,870. Eric sold me this truck for just under, it was $84,000 and change. When I traded it in four years later, because I kept it so nice and clean and, uh, you know, stored it indoors and did all, did all the, no, no door dings and kept it real nice and everyone off road, I got $74,000 for on a trade-in so it cost me ten thousand dollars to drive this truck for four years without a penny of maintenance costs expect to get the same uh type of value out of this truck four years now it should be worth pretty much damn damn near what i paid for it. you got to take into account inflation if you punch in eighty-five thousand into inflation count calculator four years ago it'll be a hundred thousand dollars today that's what the new trucks cost loaded up with everything so when i bought this truck from eric i got a cash price which was the same discount percentage as i got on this truck and then he gave me a trading value which was more than fair and if you look at some of the dealers because these trucks are so rare and because they're on back order and because you can't get them easily, um, they're not really that available. They're, they're got price, they've been price gouging five, 10, 15, 20, sometimes $20,000 for one of these trucks over the actual sticker cost. That's not gonna happen at Columbia Ford if you go see Eric. Columbia Ford here in Columbia, Connecticut. Friend, Sean from Street Diesel Performance was here just the other day and picked up his, he builds trucks for SEMA and uh, he drove all the way up from North Carolina and trailered his truck back because Eric will take care of you four free oil changes I'll get with this truck. The brand new tires and the fact that it's black and I needed a black truck adds up to about a $16,000 value to me. This was a no-brainer. It's a warranty. 
about a $20,000 value between the paint job, the tires, and the for your oil changes and you got to take into consideration there's so many improvements on this truck that's i'm going to get into that in a second so when you buy a big heavy duty american truck you really only have three choices you've got ford you have the big three you got ford you got gmc chevy which is the same and you got dodge i own all three and i've owned all three for a long long time well, speaking for experience i bought a brand new dodge back in 2012 cummins turbo diesel dually just like this with their um brown leather interior very similar to this truck right here and i had a lot of problems with that truck it, they're made in mexico okay these trucks are made right here in the united states of america at the kentucky truck plant made in america by americans for americans the home of the super duty plant and they pay those guys they're union workers they make a lot more money than than the than the uh employees in mexico that's for damn sure and you can tell in the build quality it's it's second to none the interior is second to none. The fit and finish and the performance or liability is second to none on the Fords. They've been bulletproof. Frankly, I think it's a much better looking truck than the Chevy. I mean, that's a matter of personal preference. I have a really nice LBZ Duramax Dually. That white looks just like this truck right here that we use. Matter of fact, they've got a brand new Mako 700 in the back of it. We just picked up in Boston the other day. I've got the, the uh, I have a 2016 Ford F350. So we have three other diesel trucks besides this new brand new truck. And this one's getting traded in. Reliability, the performance, the resale value, and the quality is second to none here. How did I come to Columbia Ford? Eric and his team, John, the guys are outstanding. Eric's been here for 20 years. John's been here 30 plus. The service department's outstanding. The price was the best I'd get anywhere. The selection is excellent because they, they stock so many trucks. They've got an ocean of trucks out back here. And uh, they buy a lot of trucks so they have more buying power. And they're family owned. It's not like a big giant conglomeration. You're dealing with the family that runs this place just like Kaplan Cycles. The 2024, the big differences for me had to be black, right? We're also getting the 500 horsepower. If you see this red logo on the side here, most of the guys ordering these diesel dualies are ordering the 6.7 liter power stroke and if it's red like that versus black like this the stock one's 475 horse this one which is more than any other of the dualies on the market this 6.7 gives you 500 horsepower with a 10 speed transmission that's huge it's more than my my uh volvo semi has 450 horse my kenworth is 650 that's another another deal but uh we're talking tractor trailer capabilities i think i'll haul forty thousand pounds which is half of what a semi is rated for prompt service of a truck under a warranty is really important for a businessman like me um they've done a lot of upgrades on the interior it has a heads-up display a 14 speaker banging olson sound system it has lay flat seats in it i got it with a fifth wheel hitch auto raise and lower tailgate it has adaptive cruise control there's so many upgrades on this thing i'll go over those with you in a second but i'll show you the interior um, on the King Ranch, on the white one here, is uh, absolutely beautiful. It's more of a light colored interior, and uh, the dash is completely different. This is a, the previous generation. You'll see the dash on the new one has a much bigger LCD screen, like twice the size, and the dash on this has analog gauges with a small four inch LED screen. The new one is spectacular. It has a heads up display and everything. This is a great truck, but this is even greater. They really. They really broke out all the stops on this one. This truck has a 360 de degree camera in the hitch camera. It has um, actually, let me let me go over the differences just on the bed here because th there's there's so much that they've improved just on the bed of this truck. Um, to start with, okay, I'm gonna be 59 in three days, right? My birthday's coming up. Uh, my dad used to say, always reward yourself because you might wake up someday and say, why are you working so hard? And he died at 59. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. I don't drink or smoke like he did, so I should live longer. But life is short, man, and you're going to be dead a long time, so go for it. If you have a dream like a truck like this, do it. So on the bed, if you notice on the side, this has two steps right here, which may not sound like a big deal unless you're hauling a big fifth wheel trailer like we do and you need to get up into the bed. You just step right up. It's a piece of cake. You can get right in. The bed has a built-in bed liner in it. It has uh, the tie-down stakes all the way around. It has LED lights in the bed. Um, a lot of major improvements here. They also kind of stole this from GMC. It's got a step bumper. I can't tell you how many times I had to step on the tire of my truck and get up in there and or fumble with the tailgate to put it back up. This tailgate is automatic raise, automatic lower. And you can see this this um, stainless piece on the back here is all new compared to the 2020. The bumper is all new. It has a class five hitch. It'll haul pretty much anything you can hook to it. And in the bed, it's got the Ford accessories, 
fifth wheel hitch rated for 35,000 pounds, guys. Semis can haul 80,000. This is almost half what the semi will haul, and I'm pretty sure it'll haul 40,000 off the bumper. I'll, I'll have to check that. It has the um, the plug-in for the trailer right here. It has a plug-in for the smaller trailers. Um, it's got uh, the, the plate lights, LED plate lights in here, and in the bumper, I mean, excuse me, in the tail lights, it has lights that will go up uh, and show you how much weight you have in here. You can actually, um, it actually has a scale, onboard scale, that will tell you if you're over the weight limit on it, which is pretty cool, so you don't get uh, busted by DOT, right? But the taillights are all new. If you compare them to the taillights on the old one, the new ones are completely different. Uh, the bedside is different also. It has more of a squarer shoulder on it. Um, and of course, you've got the steps on this side here and the fender lights, but the hitch is pretty spectacular for sure. And underneath the hitch, that round hole is for a gooseneck. Uh, it came with a, I ordered the gooseneck kit from the factory too. It's auto down on the tailgate. And like all Ford pickups in the last 10 years, it has the built-in step, which is pretty spectacular. It makes it a lot easier. It's got the handle built, built in. And they also added to this, if you're doing construction or whatever, they actually have a tape measure on here. So, and you'll also note that it has outlets in the back here how does it have 110 volt outlets in that truck right there i carry two generators in the back i carry a thousand watt and a 2500 watt a thousand watt was to power tools and to keep the batteries charged on, on the trailer but if i wanted to run my ac in the trailer i had to have the other generator so there's two generators to deal with this is a 2000 watt onboard generator this thing has a generator from the factory the bed liner is spectacular it's the spray in factory bed liner look how thick that is it's absolutely bulletproof um, just a spectacular job Ford's done here with the factory hitch, the fifth wheel hitch, the five, the, the uh, class five hitch on it, the heavy duty bumper, the steps, the LED lights, the, the 2000 watt power. Um, just, it's the best bed system in the industry. It also has the uh, sliding power sliding rear window. You've got the privacy windows all the way around. This is the King Ranch package. I'll go over the, the, um, the window sticker with you next. You'll see on the window sticker, um, it's a 2024 F4, and you can uh, screenshot this if you want to read it a little slower. It's got the A-Gate black exterior, which has a metallic flake in it, Java leather, King Ranch 176-inch wheelbase, style side, 6.7 liter high output power stroke with a 10-speed auto torque shift, LED reflector headlamps, tie-down hooks in the bed, power sliding rear window with defrost and privacy tint, power tailgate, power scope, trailer power fold mirrors these mirrors go out about another 10 inches and they'll fold automatically which is really nice it has trailer brake controller built in so you don't have to get the mickey mouse uh, aftermarket ones it has a trailer brake controller built in which is kind of huge trailer sway control uh, has rain sensing wipers you don't even have to put the wipers on they'll put themselves on this is a 12 inch as big as your laptop was 12 inch Productivity screen has 120 volt outlets. So if you want to uh, plug something in right here, you can plug in your 120. It's got your 12 volt outlets. One touch up and down mirrors, which is really nice. Ambient lighting, fixed ambient lighting, dual zone electric auto climate control. It has a heads up display, which is so cool. The first time I got in, I turned it on. It says the speedometer and miles right up on the windshield like you'd see in a, in, a, in a race car or something. It's so cool. This is a much, much, much nicer interior than the previous generation. No competition has this um this look at this this is just beautiful this uh stainless steel plaque on here that's got the um the king ranch that's the actual ranch the truck was named named after has the wood um uh on the dash it's just beautiful has an outside temperature display so you always know the temperature is outside has a particular air filter so if you go into a dusty area it keeps it nice and nice and fresh in here power locks and windows of course power driver and passenger seat 10-way tilt tilt telescoping steering column and it has a two kilowatt pro power onboard generator i mentioned 363 camera package i got to mention that this camera package is ridiculous it has a camera in the front bumper has cameras in the mirrors has cameras in the bed when you're putting hooking your trailer to the back of this thing I can't tell you how many times I've jumped in and out of that truck, mother mother effing myself to death because uh, I sometimes I'll get real lucky and back up the first time and hook right up. And other times you do it 10 times and you're just like, what's wrong with you? You start getting frustrated and it's kind of like a slippery slope. But hooking up the trailer, whether it's bumper or fifth wheel, with this camera system, you don't ever have to get up. You get it right the first time and that's a huge thing. Sound system is ridiculous in this. I just got in here and cranked up some Muddy Waters Manish Boy on here and... uh it, compared to the Bang & Olufsen that, that that has, it's much better. It has 14 speakers, a bigger subwoofer. The sound system is ridiculous. Um, 
really good. Also comes with a Ford Pass Connect 5G Wi-Fi. So when we're on the road, we can hook up our laptops and uh, list bikes on eBay or answer questions or up and download videos really well. Has a um, hotspot telematics modem built in. Intelligent access, push button start, no key, mono beam coil spring front suspension with a stabilizer bar. I'll go over that in a second. I'll show you the front end. Board scale and smart hitch I mentioned on the back has a Sirius 360, um, um, Sirius radio, sync uh, uh, with a 12 inch screen, wireless charging pad right in here. Check this out. This is so cool. Um, you basically put your put your phone in there and it'll wirelessly charge right there or you can plug it in and it'll charge faster It has a USB-C ports in there in addition to the um, 120 volt and 12 volt old school outlets Which are really key for some of the stuff you're gonna have has a four cup holders right here This is you can slide this over um, you put your phone in here uh, Just spectacular the fit and finish on here is just ridiculous it is so nice and again this interior is a little darker than the interior in the one over there and it has a much nicer look at the door panel on this thing this is absolutely freaking spectacular my favorite interior i forgot to tell you guys we actually ordered a limited and it came in this winter that's eric's such a cool guy to deal with and christy sat in it and she did not like it at all and i didn't like it really either and it, it had been damaged in shipping and they were going to fix it. Um, that wasn't the reason we didn't take it. It was mainly because she didn't like it. But this is the best dealership. If you don't like the truck, they'll get you another one. Look at the stainless finish on this thing, man. It's freaking absolutely beautiful. The wood finish, the leather work. It's the best interior in the industry, bar none, in my opinion. And that's why one of the reasons I bought it. Spent a lot of time driving 20 hours at Daytona or whatever. It has the advanced security package with the alarm, the advanced track with RSC, airbags, safety canopy, all this. It's the safest vehicle you could possibly drive. I got to get Junior out of, his, out of his BMW and into one of these big trucks before he kills himself in that hot rocket. Um, has an LED center high mount stop lamp, and the stop lamp has a camera built in, a secure code keyless keypad to get on the outside. You put your numbers in. You don't even need to have your keys on. You can get in and out. And, of course, the warranty, three-year. 60,000, three, three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year, 60,000 on the powertrain, five year, 60,000 roadside assistance, and you get five years and a hundred thousand miles on this diesel engine. That's a 20,000, 25,000, 20 to $25,000 engine if it blows up. And to know you got five years and a hundred thousand miles is awesome. So, as far as the options go, this has the preferred equipment package. You can check that out. Um, 6.7 liter high output power stroke. It has the 10-speed auto torque shift. It's $2,500 extra for the for the big horsepower motor worth every penny. The gooseneck dual hitch kit is $525. The fifth wheel hitch assembly was $1,745. The bargain, rather than going buying some Mickey Mouse one and hoping it works. Front license plate bracket is included. All weather mats with carpeting. The chrome package was $1,240. I'll we'll go over that on the outside. Things loaded with chrome. Has the FY4, FY4 off-road package with skid plates and heavy-duty shocks. 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating package. It has a vehicle safe right in here. This is where I put my 357 right in there. Um, and it's locked in there. And or my Glock. And uh man, look look at this thing. It's so freaking beautiful. The chrome and the leather and, and, and the stainless steel and the fit and finish is freaking spectacular on the steering wheel, the seats, it's just beautiful. Um, I wanted the truck delivered. I said, don't wash it. Don't take any of the plastic off it. Don't mess with it. We do museum quality, $150,000 motorcycle restorations on, on knuckleheads and old vintage motors, four-cylinder bikes. And, and my guys are the best. So I just didn't want to risk it getting a scratch or messed up. Plus, I enjoyed doing it, you know. So we're going we're gonna to detail this ourselves, ceramic coat it, and then use the, the um, polymer new coat finish uh, that we'll put on it once every quarter. Look brand new, just like that one in four years. It also has the rapid heat supplemental heater so we're in the new england here i don't run this truck in the snow but it's freaking cold in the morning engine block heater so i can plug it in if i do want to run it in the winter 50 state emissions the power moonroof twin panel is pretty ridiculous it's only half open but the whole roof on this thing is glass it's so cool i'll show you that later also ordered it with the snow plow prep in the camper package it gives you the heavy duty springs um and everything else wheel well wheel well liners i ordered those in the factory i had to install them on my last one i'd rather get it done at the factory splash guards for the rear with no charge it has a tough bed spray and bed liner for 5.95 you're not going to get that done anywhere for less retractable 
bedside step, which I showed you there, was expensive, but worth every penny for an old dude like me. And then it has a max recline driver and passenger seat, 335 bucks, and it turns the inside of your, your um, truck into a sleeper cab because you can lay it down all the way as a bed. And I'll show that in another video. It's got the bed hooks by, by Bullring. Those were 70 bucks. The trailer camera was 475 bucks, but I already backed up my, my DRV into a fence once, and that would have tripled the value. I mean, it's a, it was $1,500 worth of damage. It would have more than paid it for itself that one time. It has a side window, window deflector kit, uh, which isn't installed yet. Where I told him, just leave it in the truck. We'll install that. So the total price was $92,000. Options was $11,000. It was $103,915. Uh, it was 105.9. Now, I got a killer deal from Eric. He gave me the same discount ratio he did on that. So it was just about a 100K. And I got 74,000 for that one. So it was an easy decision to make to upgrade. Like I said, he gave me the best cash price you'll get anywhere. And then I got top dollar on my trade. Where else are you going to get the, that kind of a deal? But here at Columbia Ford, that's why I drove the hour round trip here. Let's take a look at the interior. Again, if, if you compare this interior... Uh, the black is just beautiful and if I did wrap this truck right here, man um, I would have had white door jams and that's hunk funky as hell. So you can see this this has like a, a, a brighter wood There's no stainless on the dash here um, It doesn't have It doesn't have the the, 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 the King Ranch Thing on, on, on that side there the door panels aren't quite as nice But if you look at the new one the stitching is is, a, is and the piping is a little more pronounced it's just beautiful. The King Ranch logo, the stainless. Uh, this King Ranch on the dash right here is really cool. Big glove box. The stainless trim, again, just beautiful. Kind of a bronze coating on, on the dash surround to match the, the um, Java interior. It's definitely a darker interior than what you get in the last generation. This is more like a, I don't know, root beer color. On the back door, you can see more of that real nice stainless trim, the Bang & Olsen speakers. That's the um, gooseneck hitch. These are the floor mats that come with it, all the wheel coverings. We wanted to do this ourselves, so I love doing this kind of stuff. I'm going to put the fender uh, or the uh, mud flaps on ourselves. You can see the interior is more of a Java, uh, the headliner in the back seats on the King Ranch. And, and this is less of a root beer color, a little bit darker color. The, the carpets are almost black, but they're a dark brown. Here's a view with the, the steps down. You've probably never seen one of these before. This is a special auto retail, and it shows the antenna, antenna, the hubcaps, the rubber mats, the trim rings, the front mud flaps, the jack lug, the yaw sensor, the valley, valley keys, the trailer guide, uh, key code card, on and on, the hitch for, uh, for the pin, the gooseneck hitch, the grill cover, floor mats. This is the inventory of everything you're supposed to get. It's supposed to be inside the truck. Uh, this one's outside the truck, but that's kind of cool. Usually those are taken off along with these kind of stickers here. It's pretty cool to see all that uh, detail stuff. And this is the external keypad I was telling you about. Um, this has the trim rings. This is the part of the chrome trim package. Here is the door handles. And then also on top of the mirrors, uh, you get that chrome. And of course the front bumper on the King Ranch chrome edition if you look at the 2020 grill um it's completely redesigned uh, i love the way the 2020 looks i think it looks great the 2024 has a parking sensors built in it's got like this honeycomb style grill huge ford logo super duty emblazoned in the, in the front uh, the hood profile looks a little bit different um you get the big fender flares on here because with a 450, the biggest thing about a 450 is a turning radius. It has a, a what's called a wide track axle, heavy duty springs, and um, it just, compared to my F350 and my Dodge Ram and my GMC pickup trucks, this thing turns on a freaking dime. It's not even close. You can you could run circles around, around a regular F350 with this thing. 10 lug, the hubcaps aren't put on yet, but you get a 10 lug, uh, front wheel has a Continental 225-70R 19.5 heavy-duty truck tires, mud and snow with a nice grip on there. Um, really, really well done. On the back here, you've got the heavy-duty assist spring. Once you start towing up in the 20,000-pound range and the stock springs are starting to um, get collapsed, it uses this helper spring right there, which isn't touching right now, so it makes it ride better until, uh, obviously, you put enough weight on, then those kick in. Um, this is one of the reasons you buy an F450. Check this out. Look at the axle on this thing. It's got a massive, and it has the fins on it. 
to keep it cool. It's a massive rear axle, 430 rear gears, and look at the brakes on this thing, man. I mean, compared to what truck brakes were years ago, I used to go through trucks 12,000 miles on my 99 F350, and they'd be toast. These are super heavy duty, massive disc brakes in the back here. They're huge, like something you see on a medium duty truck. Now, th this, this truck is actually derated at 14,000 pounds, it's capable of more, but to keep it in this class, it's actually capable of much more. And look at the hitch on here, it has the insert uh, for the two inch or the two and a half inch. Um, just super nice, heavy duty. And the bodies on these trucks are all aluminum, so they won't rust like a steel truck will. Uh, it's in a completely aluminum body. That was one of the uh, upgrades they had on, on the 2020, the last generation. Uh, there was a total redesign in 2023. These trucks are delivered from Kentucky on a rail, uh, actual railroad, and then they're delivered by truck to here. So I didn't want them to detail the truck because a lot of times there might be little pieces of metal that come from the, the uh, railway brakes. And I just wanted to do it ourselves and make sure, you know, it's, it, it comes out freaking spotless. We'll ceramic coat it and then we'll use a new coat on it keep that black just popping this of course has the fifth wheel prep package right here so you have the two hookups right here you don't have to do anything just plug your trailer in and go it has the led lights back here which are super bright at night it has the optional um tow hook uh tie down setups there in in the bottom so they didn't miss a beat with the bed of this thing and of course that's the camera the center mounted uh rear brake light that's the camera right there that points right there that's why you don't have to get out of the truck and the other thing about the camera system is there's a there's a there's a camera in the tailgate right here this is it right here and that camera points at the sky when the tailgate's closed obviously and it doesn't come on until you drop the tailgate but when you're backing up to get onto your gooseneck or your fifth wheel i can't tell you how many times i've got out of that truck and i'm literally two inches from my trailer with the tailgate and I have to get out and make sure I'm not going to hit it and you can't even see the balls because uh, that that one doesn't have the camera doesn't show in the bed like this one does nor does it have the camera here the 360 degree camera that's one of the biggest improvements I think they made on the camera package is having the ability to back your trailer onto your trailer without getting out of the truck open up this door more of that nice beautiful Java interior with the King Ranch logo and this really caught my eye this has the American flag Captain America, right? Has the American flag um, logo right here on the on the door uh, with this beautiful trim. And of course, the dash is all LED now. Um, the other one is, is analog with a small LED screen. So it's, it's a huge improvement over the, the last generation. The King Ranch steering wheel logo on there. Um, established 1853. And the chrome just beautiful here we got the upfitter switches if you want to put lights it has a total of six auxiliary switches it has the the spot to put your your um sunglasses and of course the led reading lamps and the sunroof can be set and vent fire it up the screen is huge of course you got your phone um your your, your audio your phone it's got your uh navigation on here which is really nice um you can change all the settings and set it up the way you want of course it's got the exhaust brake on here and this is your camera uh so you can see what's going on you can set it up this is your 360 degree to see if you're going to hit anything um hazards here's how you open up the second glove box which is really nice and uh just a overall improvements everywhere the steering wheel is super nice heated steering wheel heated seats also has a built-in massage on the seats, which is really nice if you've had back surgery like I, I do. I can get out of this thing after driving to Daytona and my back feels better than, than when I got in it. You can do upper rolling, circular cushion, relax, massage, heat, and of course, passenger massage. Um, has two wheel high, four wheel high, and four wheel low for your drive mode. You can also go to uh, manual shifting if you wanna shift it yourself. Uh, 10 speed transmission has a uh, smart cruise control where you can set it for 70 and then if the traffic's doing 65 it will adjust you don't have to touch this touch this the um but the um 
accelerator or mess with it at all. You just set it for how fast you want it to go and it'll it'll constantly adjust for you. It would take an hour just to go over all the all the accessories and adjustability and the different settings that are in here. There's so much tech in these new trucks, it's freaking unbelievable. Wi-Fi, area satellite radio, onboard generator, heated massage seats, it's got everything. You can set the uh, roof for a vent like that or you can close it and uh, that's what the, the it's like a almost driving a convertible when, once you open it up all the way and of course you got the side and rear window in the back just unbelievable how nice the interiors are the new trucks uh, compared to what when I was a kid it heated seats in the back um, heated seats in the front massage seats in the front this is the this is the bad boy right here this is the 500 horsepower high output 6.7 liter turbo diesel comes with two batteries standard two heavy duty batteries uh, this is a higher compression ratio this is 15.8 to 1 versus 15.2 to 1 on the lower horsepower version it has a water jacketed turbo it wasn't just a, a, a tune they actually increased the capacity of the turbo system and up the compression on on this this is a it's a monster of a motor and it's a proven unit this engine has been out for 15 years since 2011 the first version and uh, my 2016 has 170,000 miles on it still going strong it's the best most powerful diesel engine that you can get in a pickup truck today there's one of the door stickers ford motor company 2024 here's the data tag on it it built 224 of course february 2024 that's an important number to me if anybody knows me well um and it shows the size of the tires and the ratings for the truck 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating the rear gross axle rate weighting is 9,900 pounds front is 16,000 6,000 pounds which adds up to 15,600 but they downgrade it to 14,000 pound to keep it under CDL is what I think the reasoning is but it's it's capable of pulling CDL weights easily so well hope you guys enjoyed this little explanation of the new truck why we're getting it what it is what the differences are what the improvements are um how it works out for us and why we bought it here it's the automatic tailgate close which may not seem like a big deal so it's pouring rain pitch black out and you got an armload of stuff and you need to close it it's a big plus much tech lane centering it basically drives itself 48 gallon fuel tank onboard scales and smart hitch the 14 inch screen it's, it's it's the best in the business there's nothing better than this maybe america's getting soft but these four trucks keep getting harder this is badass here's the original uh king ranch tailgate you can see it's a little bit smaller of the stainless uh, applique on there whatever they call it um no no step hitch no in light scales uh no generator uh this one you get the massive beautiful stainless on the back there with the king ranch super duty logo the extra cameras the step the generator it's all there man you get what you pay for for sure and this thing will last you a lifetime if you take care of it so there it is the king ranch and uh like i said we we had ordered a limited and we really didn't like the interior it was not a problem with eric he just ordered this one for us and here we are not my first new truck from columbia ford won't be my last the clue why you get great service here john's been here 30 years eric's been here 20 years dealer of the year award president's award a highly rated dealership they'll take care of you they have they actually have a restaurant here that's open during the week too that um you can come here and get a nice meal uh a cup of coffee whatever but they've usually got a really nice selection of supercars like the ford mustang you see over there and their pickup truck selections are awesome so Give them a call.